Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Damien Wolfie, Shop Cat. And today we're bringing you a special episode because I am going to show you how to make a customized chair and refurbish an old piece of equipment so that you can save money and have something that really makes you happy and just have something that when people come into your shop is going to be completely customized to you. So I've got this old um, Harbor Freight chair, little rolly chair. I think I paid like $15 for this thing like 15 years ago. And um, it's really been beaten to death. I used it to paint on and uh, the seat has been busted. But I don't want to spend any more money because I'm trying to put money into my project cars. So Wolf decided that maybe I should sand it down and paint it a cool color and see if we can make this thing look nice and bring it back to life. What do you say, buddy? You want to bring this chair back to life? Hmm? No, Daddy. Just leave me alone. I'm trying to sleep. All right. He's going to take a nap. We're going to go out in the shop. Let's go get some work done. Hey everybody, welcome back to Stream Creations, and today I am going to show you how to recycle old tools in your shop. So this old beat up thing is a chair that um, I have. I got it from Harbor Freight. I think it was like 20 bucks 10 years ago or something like that. But now they're like 35, 40 bucks. And as you can see, there used to be a pad here. It was red, but I've spray painted over top of it a few times and it's ripped all apart. And the pad hardly holds my butt anymore. It's just like a piece of wood, wood now. It's pretty ripped up. And uh, as you can see, it's, the bottom piece has been blown out. You know, I gotta put a, something down here for the tray. I mean, it's not that bad, but if you put something really heavy in there, you know what I mean, it could mess it up. And um, I'm missing a caster. So let's look at the casters. So I'm missing this one. But you can see like these these plastic wheels are so beat up, you know. So I would have saved these wheels and shaped them down flat and just made a new whole wheel. But the piece that goes in right here that, that locks into this top nut bent. So it was out like this, and I didn't tighten it up, and I sat on it and it bent. So now I got one, two, three wheels, and the other one's in the garbage. So I have some free casters that I took off something else. Um, I, actually, they were free. I, I forget. Someone gave them to me. I have like seven. I don't have a complete two set. They're smaller than this. So I'm going to put the new casters on this, and I'm going to show you how to... Sand this down for free with a little piece of sandpaper. Um, we're gonna take, if you watch my rags class, you can see how I recycle clothes and make them rags, but we are going to put padding. So I, I got this free padding. It's like a quarter of an inch. I got a bunch of them. I use them as a little seat that I made. You know, it's where I do my wrapping. But I'm gonna put these pads here, all four of them. And I'm just gonna take some tape that I have for free. You know, look over tape and tape it up. I'm gonna have a new pad. Then these were four or two pieces. I cut them in half to go over there, double up, and I'm gonna put all four pads on here. Tape it up, we're gonna have a new pad. Then I'm gonna paint all of this with some purple spray paint that I have because my shop colors are purple and green. I'm gonna fix this middle piece and put a little piece of wood in here that that we have laying around the shop for free. And I have some casters and I'm gonna show you how to take this apart and fix this for free. So even if I had to buy the casters for $2 a piece, um, eight bucks, 10 bucks, and even if I had a half a can of spray paint that I wasn't using as free, this kind of stuff where you could take a shirt or an old sweater and fold it up real nice, cut it up, and put it on here. You could tape it for free. I know people have tape laying around the house, packing tape, whatever you want. I'm gonna use 
some uh, really cheap duct tape that I got from a buddy that I don't like, so just to sit on. And this chair is gonna look brand new. It's gonna look more expensive than the Harbor Freight. It's gonna be custom color, and I'm gonna do it for a couple of bucks, basically free. So let's get right onto it. I'm gonna start tearing this apart and showing you all the new parts that we're gonna make. Then we're gonna fix this chair up custom. All right, let's fast forward. So right now I put those pieces of um, the sitting material, like the packing material that I got, I cut them up. So I had four pieces and it went from here to about here. And I put one, two, three on and I took the third one and cut three pieces and I made it the rest of the way. And then I took the tape. This is just some cheap duct tape, like two, three dollars. and. Um, as you can see, I have the pieces on the wood here and I just wrapped them around with this free duct tape. So the pieces were free from the mail. This is the original seat, you know, and I just put a pad on it. I didn't tear the, the old leather off or anything. You see the red piece of leather still on there. I didn't cover up the holes. But I am just taping it so that it keeps my pad nice and fresh. It's gonna keep it waterproof. If I drip anything on here or I leave it in the rain by accident or something, my pad won't get wet now. This is another stage to rebuilding our um, little roller. You know, these things are like 30, 40 bucks, but I'm gonna rebuild one for almost free. So maybe I use a dollar's worth of duct tape. So we're at a dollar right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand the parts down, the metal parts with a little piece of sandpaper to sand it down enough that I can spray some whatever color paint I have laying around the shop. I happen to have a lot of purple because I like purple, I was gonna do a project. So I bought like five cans of purple spray paint, but now I'm not doing that project anymore. Those cans have been sitting in my shop for about five years. One, two, three, four, five. The paint's gonna go bad. Probably thirty dollars worth of paint I'm gonna throw out, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna reuse it on this project because I picked my colors green and purple. So if you want to know how I did that or when I did that, look at my update video that says branding on it, and then it tells you that I'm branding. So branding is color for your business, and you can learn. All right, so I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna splice this in, and then we're going to go ahead and get this chair up and running nice. See you in a little bit. So this is the shop seat. After I got it all done, you can see the pad is way bigger. The um, wood starts way down here. It's all ready to go. I sat on it a couple of times. It feels nice, you know? And I wrapped around so you can still get to the holes so you don't have to cut anything. And there it is. The cushion was free. The tape was free because I had it laid around the house. It is like the most inexpensive duct tape that you can get. Now all we gotta do is sand the other metal pieces and uh, paint them and put them back together and this thing's gonna look brand new. All right, so now that I made the seat, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking some of this metal that I took apart. That's just the chair I, I took down to pieces after I took all the screws out and um, get myself just a little bit of water here and some wet sandpaper. So you gotta watch and make sure you don't get the wrong sandpaper. Some sandpaper you put in water, it dissolves. You can't do that. Um, this, if you do metal, you have to get the stuff that says, oh, sorry, it's blue, that's some spray paint. Um, it has to say wet sandable or for like body work. So make sure you get the right one. And so we're just gonna get it wet a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take the part, you know, and rub it all around. I don't wanna take the paint off I just want to scratch the paint up so I can put some quick primer on top of it. And then um, after that, I'm just going to uh, hit it with the purple. So just real easy. And then I just get it wet and you know, I don't care if it's dripping all over the place. That's why I got that little mat down. So. No real technique for the for the um, sanding, you know, just make sure that it stays wet here. So you see the 
you see that it's coming off the the paint is coming off of my hand so we're not trying to take the paint off we're trying to make micro scratches in the paint so when I spray it the new primer will stick to this old paint and I mean uh, I got paint in the in the house for free I mean you can paint this with anything you know I'm just gonna take an old can of spray paint that I have left over and uh, I'm gonna paint this seat purple instead of going and buying a new seat for 35 or 40 bucks or whatever they cost now with the inflation I mean it's 2022 um, and I'm watching TV so you see my other little phone here I put on like uh, some cartoons or the news or Discovery Channel or something and I just sit at this little table and I just sand stuff and Instead of sitting in the living room by myself or um, at night or, or wasting time watching something, I can do two things at once. I can listen to the news for the day. You know, I, I gotta watch the news every day for my stocks and, and uh, my financial stuff, which I'm making another channel for soon. Um, but I'm doing two things at once. So I'm doing that, I'm doing this job of listening to the news and I'm doing this job of re- Restoring furniture, I guess it's kind of like restoring furniture, you know This is almost like bodywork and restoring furniture at the same time because it's metal You know, so there's a little piece of rust here. Do you want to pay a little more attention to that rust? There can't be any rust if the rust doesn't come off you got to get a deeper Sandpaper it doesn't matter if you lose the paint you got to get all the rust out so then I'm just going to go around the inside, I'm going to sand all this off. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go um, outside and I'm going to spray it all down. And then I'm going to put this out on the table and I'm going to show you how to set this up for prime. We're going to let it dry, then I'm going to put the top coat on, then we're going to let it dry, then I'm going to put it all together and show you what it looks like at the end of the tape. Thanks for coming out, hold on, I'm going to fast forward. So I sanded up all the parts, I washed them, and I got them drying out here on my on my car, so uh, uh, we can go ahead and paint those, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my little paint booth out, uh, which is just my old fish tank stand and a piece of cardboard, and I'm gonna set these up so we can paint them. And I just did this for my cat, so I got these two cats, and they um, are getting all the mice. Um, out of the shop and this came I got this thing free on Craigslist and it was all busted up and brown and um, you see it's brown and I kind of sprayed it with the shiny when I did the spray all over I sanded it up the same way it came out this beautiful purple I gotta tighten that little fish up it came out this beautiful purple and that's exactly what my color is for my shop uh, so the chair is going to be the same color, so this is like a preview, but I owe the kids, man. So they're going to have a sponsored bowl in the shop now, water and food. So let me set this up and we'll show you how to spray them down. So I got the parts all sanded up, all clean, they're all dry. Then I'm just going to take some of this ground coat. Uh, same thing that um, I used on the little kitty thing. And I'm just going to spray it, you know. Just go easy. This is only the bottom. It's almost like a primer, but it gives it like a little uh, uh, fleck, you know, like a little prettiness, a metallic look, you know. It's really windy outside, so I just brought a, I just kind of brought it in, you know, and made a little makeshift table upstairs in my shop. So, you don't want to get real close because you'll get runs. Just, 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 just tap it. Oh, man, it's, it's hard for me to look at the paint and walk the, and walk this around. I need a, I need someone to camera me. Uh, uh. So this is free, this is just free paint we found in the house. It's called underground coat. So you put this down first. You see how it kind of made it silver? So it works as a prime. It works as a primer. 
And it works as a uh, glitter effect. You know? So you see it's already changed. Like if we were gonna paint this gray, if that was the color that you like, then this is what it would look like, silver or gray. You know? I mean, it already looks like brand new. You can see how the chair is gonna come out. You know? So, um, now that I did the top, I'm just gonna let that dry for a while because I have to flip it over. And when I set it on the caps, I don't want it to cut into the paint. So I might let it cure for a couple of hours because I want it to be perfect. It's really windy out and it's only about 60 degrees outside. No heat in the shop yet. So it's gonna take longer for this paint to cure. Um, so uh, I showed you guys what I was doing. Just take easy strokes, just go, you know. Tss, tss, tss. Uh, never hold the can and go tss. I mean, if you don't care about what it looks like, you're spraying wood or you're spraying a big area, I guess. You get a lot of runs that way. So I just, tss, 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 you know, and I, I, you'll get it into a pattern. Spray a couple of things before you spray something that you like. A couple of pieces of wood or a piece of plastic or anything before you do this so you don't mess it up. So let's let these dry. I'm going to paint the other side. You don't have to watch that. But when we flip it back over to this side, we're going to go with that purple anodized look. And then we're going to put this bad boy all together. So these are the pieces silver done. They look great. And I still, I, I might have used a half a can on all of this work, you know? Now, I could leave them silver shiny like this, but I have um, paint as well. So I did one overspray just to show you what it looks like. So this is the purple. And it's going to be, I did it a little thicker right here. I, I didn't want to go too thick just to show you more of the color. And this is just one, this is just one like pass. I don't want to make it too thick. You can still see a lot of silver and let it dry. Because this is now two coats in 24 hours. So I'm going to do this one right here for you. So you can see. You know. I'm just just kind of easy. And if, if it takes the silver away a little bit. I don't want to make the whole thing purple yet. I just want to take the silver away a little bit. Like you can see all the silver still in it. See the little places I've missed? But I'm just, I'm using this as like a bonding agent. Because I won't get any runs this way, then I'll just go over it again. So, whatever we can get to, I mean, I'm not trying to purposely miss or whatever. Uh, here it is. Like, see? See the difference already? music and do this at the same time because they're always uh, trying to copyright demonetize me man take my take my five pennies away YouTube wants my five pennies you know so you see they look pretty purpley and this is just the top coat color paint so you put the other one down this comes as a set the ground coat and the top coat I'm using this anodized purple remember I was gonna do this I was gonna use this paint for another job but then that never happened so now I got it around the house and um, the colors for my business are the this purple and green because I like I've always liked the Joker but I just I like the way purple and green goes together you know so we're gonna just give this one a second coat so it gets a little more purpley so you guys can see what it's actually going to look like. See how it's coming in darker now? I don't want to just... I don't want to just hold the, the can on and keep moving because you, you get runs that way.
I'm gonna try to do a little. So this is the chair all done. I got a nice new seat with double the padding that I made because the other seat with just a small piece of wood, a small piece of padding, it was hurting my butt. But now this has like uber padding in it. And you see I painted it this nice purple color. Paint came out really good. I think I'm gonna paint my car this color as well. Um, so I'm just, you know, getting a little practice, seeing what the colors look like with the brown coat. Uh, so you <clears throat> are not going to find this chair anywhere else. This is a 100% custom chair. Um, the wheels are different. So the, the frame, this piece and this piece came from Harbor Freight, but were busted a long time ago. I put the new casters on because I had them laying around the shop. But you could probably get all four of these casters for 10 bucks. Then any color you have laying around the shop, you just paint it. You know, I, I like purple, so uh, we're gonna keep it, keep it purple. Then I could have used black duct tape, but then I think if I used black duct tape, it would have made the purple look darker, and you wouldn't have been able to see it. I wish I had green up uh, uh, duct tape, because then it would have been both of my colors. But now, yes I know, there's no plate here. So the chair came with a plastic, real thin little plate, and it got split down the middle of it. So this is the chair, I'm all done. I can use the chair like this now. It runs, it looks great. It, it's really sturdy, you know, like sturdy. The wheels are brand new, it rolls so nice, it rolls so nice. So um, I'm gonna use this for my wrapping chair and to do like my headlight tints. And it's like I said, it's custom paint to fit my shop now. I'm doing everything in green and purple. I'm painting everything in the shop. Uh, I'm gonna put a plate here, and it's gonna stick out the side a little bit. So I can put my wrap stuff on one side, and I can put a drink, I'm gonna put a drink cup on the other side. So that's gonna be the chair upgrade. But this is how you refurbish stuff. Please don't throw stuff in the garbage, uh, especially metal. If it's not rotted out, just scratched up or ugly. I had painted on this thing so many times, it was like four or five different colors, but I'm gonna take care of this one now. Uh, like I said, these are about 35 bucks, maybe more, at Harbor Freight. I bought this for $25. Uh, this chair, when it was brand new, I think 12 years ago. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoy, um, you know, turning things into new art. You know, this is creative. This will this will uh, improve your confidence. Um, if you can do it on this and practice, you can do it on just about anything. And I saved myself some money. And people will come to my shop and be like, whoa, that's a cool purple chair. Where'd you get that? Uh, I made it. All right, so thanks for coming back to Disturbing Creations. We're always making new stuff. It doesn't just have to be a car. This is a mechanic seat. So I have to rebuild my seat or spend money, you know, to go get one. And I want it custom. So um, I hope this builds your confidence. Like I said, thanks for coming to Disturbing Creations. Leave us a like, subscribe. If you know somebody that does reupholstering furniture, or like, you know, uh, maybe you can leave a link so I can learn how to do that. Um, if you know someone that likes to paint stuff, if you know someone that just likes purple, uh, you know, send this link to them. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you out with some tips on sanding or how to lay base coat or prime or whatever you need to do. If you like this kind of video, also leave a comment down below and tell me like, hey, can you do a whole toolbox? Can you do this? Can you do that? And um, I will try to pull an item off the shelf or grab a toolbox or something and paint that as well. So God bless. We love y'all and we're out.